Hi, I'm like the Valley Girl. I live in Silicon Valley, the heart of innovative technology. I know where all these awesome companies are, but how the heck did they get here? That's what I'm here to find out. I'm like the Valley Girl. What do you do? Hi, I'm like the Valley Girl. America is the land of opportunity. Our next guest shows that if you think big and work hard, literally anything is possible. He's only 26 and has already started his third internet company, OMG. Please welcome G. Chahal, CEO and founder of G Wallet. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? Good, good, thanks good, for having me. Good, good, thanks for coming. Thanks. So have a seat. Thanks. Okay, you have quite a story. So tell me, you started your first internet company at 16 years old? Yeah, yeah. That's incredible. So what what did you do? Like, how did you know what to do? Well, I think that was probably the secret to my success. I didn't know what to do. So I didn't really know the concept of uh, failure or concept of what's wrong and what's right. So a lot of it was just uh, the inner desire and the discipline to want to succeed. So when you were 16, you started this company and then um, you didn't tell anyone mm. you were doing it, right? Like you didn't tell your parents or? No, no. My, uh, parents were still struggling and I didn't want to go ahead and put any weight on their shoulders because I knew that if I wanted to take it seriously I'd have to drop out of high school and uh, right when I knew that I had the right shock and awe to get that happening is when I when, when I let them know what I was doing and went from there. And so then you did end up dropping out of high school, yep. is that correct? Yep. Did you ever go back to school? I feel like you kind of gave yourself a better education. I survived about a week. I went <laughs> back. and. Uh, it was kind of weird because I think that school is kind of like, I mean, education in general teaches you how to learn. And I've, I'd already condensed that in those two years of starting that company and taking it to a $40 million exit. And that kind of matured me a lot. I think the biggest uh, uh, upside I had was early on, I kind of figured out my passion by default. Uh, and that was, uh, you, know, creating, uh, you know, creating companies in the advertising space. And I think a lot of times when you go through the normal process of school and education, you kind of like put that off. My passion is pink, so I'm painting the world pink one business at a time. <laughs> Pinkberry, you know, that <laughs> works. <laughs> I love Pinkberry. Tell me a little bit about Blue Lithium. Uh, there's stuff that I always wanted to do in my first company that I didn't get to do because I was part of a bigger entity. So it was a bigger, meaner version of my first company and, uh, you know, had a 10 times bigger outcome as well. You sold the first one for $40 million? Yeah, I sold Click Agents for a $40 million merger and uh, we sold Blue Lift into Yahoo in October of 2007 for $3 million. So what advice do you have for other sort of young entrepreneurs? What, what was, you know, one of the biggest lessons you've, you've learned? If you figure out your passion very early on, that's your head start in life because then you can work toward making it happen. And that was kind of my upside where at 16, by default, I became an entrepreneur. You know, that's, I figured out my skill set and, you know, I'm going to maximize that as much as I can. What is your favorite part about starting a company? All the creative stuff. Okay. So all the creative stuff when it comes to uh, hiring your first 20 employees, the personalities you pick, naming the company. It's all about the creative stuff because I think that really defines the culture of the company. So tell me about the very first person you ever hired. Well, that's an interesting story because the first person I hired was my older brother. Second person I hired was my older sister. Oh, wow. And I'm the youngest of four. So I'm the youngest child, and the age difference between my sister and I is nine years. So you, so, only, t you only hired two of your siblings. Yeah. Did the other one feel a little left? <laughs> the other one got married and moved to another state. Oh, okay. So I made, you know, for, for those reasons, I couldn't hire her. I hear you um, spend some time in Vegas. You like going to Vegas? Yeah. Um, so. I don't know how to gamble. Can you teach me how to play blackjack? Sure, sure. Okay, let's all do right, it. All right. I have no idea. You know, and life's a gamble, really. So this is, you know, this all relates to business. We're not playing with money here, so it's all good. We can play with cookies. All right. Okay. All right. Whoops. And so do I, can I look at this one? Yeah. Do I show it to you or no? Yeah, you can. Because. Uh, isn't it, should I keep it a secret? Well, I'm the dealer. So. I'm gonna keep a secret. Okay. I know what it is. You don't. Do you want to hit? Um. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Did you go over 21? I busted. Are you busted? <laughs> well, I won either way. I'm sorry. He's good. 
I think it's time for a break. We'll be back with more fun in Jicha Hall right after this. <laughs> 